So this is uh, Tom Barnhart. I'm here at Molson Coors uh, Business Services Center in Bucharest with the Gabriela Hrenchuk. And I um, wanted to take a few minutes to kind of get an overview of the Molson Coors operations in Bucharest and some of the background, what services, etc. But before I have a couple of questions, Gabriela, just give us a bit of a background as to what the history is of, of um, Molson Coors setting up in Bucharest, how long you've been here, what services um, you're providing to the HQ from here, some of that kind of background information. Yeah, sure. Hello. Molson Coors Global Business Services established their presence here in Bucharest four years back. It emerged as a European initiative at the beginning, serving UK business. Now we are truly a global uh, operation structure, multifunctional uh, share service, uh, mm -hmm. looking after f &A, of course, 60% of our operations are in the f &A space. 60%, like yeah. 60%, okay. like many of our uh, of other share services in the industry. Mm -hmm. Rest is non-finance in the uh, master data, hire to retire, commercial operations, route planning, digital merchandising, and stuff like that. Okay, so that's some different type of operations. I mean, digital merchandising is not typical for a, a shared service center, is it? No, 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 yeah. it, it is not. Uh, we are proud to have it here in Bucharest, uh, and um, uh, we have quite a talented team looking after Walmart plan of grants in US. Uh, okay, okay, so do you have, does that mean you have graphic designers here, that type of thing as well? This. This um, uh, type of skill is yes, okay, it's okay, being required and it's available. Okay, and um, you all, Molson Coors set up here in Bucharest two and a half years ago, what was the year? It is four years back when we started four with years. a small share service uh, for UK business okay. um, and it became truly global two years back. Okay, all right, and I understand that you're servicing primarily then the UK market UK is an important uh, stakeholder of us, uh, but now majority of our services looking at the scale that we have today, around 600 people, uh, is US, um, meaning United States and Canada. 600 big. Yes. So, so that's, one, that's one of the biggest SSCs now in Bucharest, I would guess, right? Uh, not the biggest, it's not captive. one of the biggest, but becoming. Yeah, yeah. okay, yes. all right. And in terms of um, you know, going from, from essentially zero to 600 in three and a half years or so, how, what kind of challenges have you had from a staffing perspective, hiring people, um, have you used outside um, services for that, you've done in-house entirely, give us an idea of how you recruit so many people in such a challenging short amount of time. So we were lucky enough to have Bucharest as a talent market, um, which means we were able to hire in a short period of time. Okay. Even the it's a mature market, so there were a lot of there was a lot of talent available for us to to pick. Uh, of course, it was difficult. It was a high speed transition if we look back, um, but we had talented people able to to do the job. Okay, and what is the of the mix of of nationalities? Are you do you have many foreigners here? Is that part of the? Is it important to have some non Romanians here, or does everyone speak English? What is sort of the Everybody Language speaks mix. English. Of, everybody speaks English, of course. Uh, we have a multi multicultural environment, like everywhere else in the industry. Yeah. Uh, but it's predominantly Romanian people that we hire. Yes. I would say. Yeah. Okay. Also, because we didn't have a lot of language dependency as such, serving US, UK, Canada, uh, we mostly hired English-speaking yes. um, colleagues. Uh -huh. Uh, but also, you know, French, Canadian, and some exotic languages huh. in Eastern Europe. Interesting. Well. Okay. And in terms of expansion, you were, in, let's say, pre predominantly F and A right now. What would you imagine expansion would entail? I mean, is it IT? Uh, is it more procurement? Is it eight more HR? What type of services might you take on in the next you know, two, three years or so? So we will evolve along with the market, I would say. Now more or less uh, the share service industry is maturing. We are moving away from transactional finance to more um, value add, judgmental, complex uh, activities in this finance space. So there might be opportunities in this area as well. Huh. Also outside finance, there are many opportunities in the, in, in the commercial space and supply chain and procurement and IT everywhere, but however, um, we, we are ready to, to take on that as well. And the, the hot topic everywhere is RPA robotics and process automation. What are you all doing in terms of that space 
of course, it's natural to always be looking and reviewing processes, so that's kind of a natural thing. But in terms of uh, taking on outside vendors for process automation or doing that in-house, where are you in that learning curve? So given the fact that we just established our services two years back, uh, we are now focusing on um, improving and standardizing and streamlining the, the processes that uh -huh. we onboarded. Um, that's something that needs to be done before embarking in an RPA journey. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we did not put the RPA discussions on hold, so mm -hmm. we are partnering with an external provider to, uh, to create a small COE of RPA here in, uh, in Bucharest. All right, good. And in terms of the, the market turnover, staff, recruitment, um, how challenges, challenging is that becoming in Bucharest these days? The challenge in this industry appears in the moment you need to hire technical skills and um, a certain language, which okay. is non-English. Yes. Uh, we were um, lucky given the context and the business model that Monson Core has that um, English was the primary language that we uh, we needed to perform our services. So I would say we didn't have significant challenges in terms of hiring. Mm -hmm. uh, we were helped a lot by the maturity of the market here in Bucharest with okay. so many established SSCs and so many universities and um, young talent coming out of those, uh, uh, of those uh, structures. So mm -hmm. we were able to, to move quite fast. Okay, okay interesting. And um, any question that you would, I should ask you about Molson Coors or any, or any other, if you were interviewing yourself or another SSC in Bucharest, what question would you have for them or for yourself? So I would be very <laughs> curious what are the expansion, expansion plans for all the other SSCs in the market, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously there is a certain amount of confidentiality around yes. who goes where. Yes. Uh, we know that. Yeah. Um, but pretty much I would say we are aligned in terms of where we are moving to. Yeah. in terms of scope of services. Great. Well, we'll check back in with you in a year or so and see how you all have changed. And uh, thanks again for your time today, sure. Gabriela. Welcome.